Hey everyone, my name is Kaikun6 and I'm here to do a shopping haul video for you guys. I have been uh, pretty busy like for the past uh, few days. Like I posted up something on my community tab of this channel. If you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and just look for it on my channel. Um, I did post up that my husband Blake got sick over like uh, the past few days and I've been basically nursing him to health. And just this uh, past Monday, he actually um, uh, went back to work and stuff like that. And so he's he's not 100% better. He just has a little bit of congestion in his chest. But um, if it doesn't get anything better before um, like Monday rolls around, we're going to uh, probably um, either go to a doctor or something or... Um, I had to go make him like a special ginger tea or something because that was what one of my friends recommended like hey um, If you don't want to go to the doctor you want a natural remedy do a ginger tea and I was like I should do that and I haven't really thought about it because like when we when um, The whole week while my husband was sick He was like oh I should do honey and we didn't do that till like you know later on the week And I didn't think about vapor rub till like the middle of the week it, it was just insane you guys it really was so anyway I have a lot to show you because I have been shopping a lot for the past couple weeks and it was just mainly like, you know, a reward, I guess, for helping my husband get better, I guess. And I told him it's fine. But but while I was shopping, I was like, I want that. I want that one. <laughs> so it was like, um, he was just like, sure, I'll get it for you. And I was like, all right, cool. So I ended up shopping a lot. And um, the stuff I am going to show you are some Christmas gifts. Like, I'm just hoping my family doesn't see it and if they do then oh well they already know what they're gonna get some uh came from walmart um dollar tree i think hobby lobby michaels and even target i don't know which order i'm gonna go in but i do have some stuff all around me where i have to go through them really quickly so i am gonna go through the five below stuff first so i put everything in my lego classic box to see excuse me to see if they could fit everything and it has only a few things in here, but I do have a couple things that are very large items that I will be showing off. And maybe I should show them off first so that way um, I'll get it out of the way. So in Five Below, they've been uh, they've been trying to restock their Christmas item stuff. And because, you know, Christmas is just around the corner now. And I was like shopping to see if I could find like last minute Halloween discounted items. And um, I couldn't find any of that, but I, well... Yeah, I couldn't find any of that, but I was just really happy just to go because I really, really been wanting to go. I haven't been shopping at all for a little bit, but while my husband was sick and then, you know, well, when he started to feel better by the past Wednesday, he started like wanting to go out more and I was like, sure, we can go out more. And so we went to Five Below. We went to a lot of stores throughout the whole week, even this past weekend, we went to a lot of stores. So I'm just going to show them to you right now so that way I don't have to ramble on and repeat myself, but he got this wrapping paper. It's by Disney. It's the Jack Skellington wrapping paper. Um, it is 50 square feet. Um, I don't know how far it is. 15? Okay, so it's like 3 3.33 foot by uh, 15 foot. Like, I'm trying to see if you can show the label on here. But, but yeah, and there's the barcode for it in case you ever want to look for it online. But it's really pretty paper. It is very long. I was just like, wow. And it has Oogie Boogie and Sally Stitches and everything. So I was just like, that's really, really cute. And um, and I was wondering why did he want to get it? And he said he wants to wrap up some Christmas gifts with that. And I was like, sure. And what we want wanted to do this year was like pack everything in boxes. So we're going to do boxes. And I'll just show you those in a bit because he found some at Dollar Tree. So... And then for me, because I've been wanting like a plaid or flannel type of skirt. And for some reason, my mind went to like, sure, I could get the fabric. But for some reason, I do want to wrap some Christmas gifts with it. And so I ended up getting this big roll of like this um, plaid, flannel, whatever you want to call it, like a pattern. I When I was a kid, I used to call it plaid because... I remembered um, growing up, you find this pattern on clothes. It could be jackets, sweaters, and then uh, that was what everybody wore for like cotton wise. And then if they wanted thicker cotton, they got in flannel. So I'm just gonna call it plaid or buffalo check because that's what it basically it kind of looks like. And oh yeah, I forgot to tell you this one. Um, 
for the, for this one was five dollars of course and then this one is also five dollars so i could show off the label a little bit but there you go but yeah it's like really thick stuff um yeah the same size as that one it's like 3.33 feet but this one has 48 feet so i was like this is a lot thicker so i was like this is crazy and so i was like i wanted to wrap everything in like this type of wrapping paper and hopefully i'll be able to because um who knows what we're gonna be doing um for christmas gifts to be honest like we haven't done any type of christmas shopping up until recently which was kind of sad because we were looking at stuff throughout the entire year like oh we wanted to give this away to you know like we wanted to gift this to like you know maybe my family or his family and then or if not some friends and then completely just lost control of like timing and then on top of that like me getting sick in the beginning of the year somewhat and then my husband getting already sick before the, the like the holidays will come up so it was just kind of crazy so yeah um let me see what else okay so i don't know if you know about this about me like um i know some of my close friends and i know my family does i've had an obsession with mistletoes ever since like i was a kid um it was not just because of the meaning of it but it was just like the decor wise like something about like green and red especially for Christmas, just looks so pretty for me. Sure, I like holly and stuff like that, but I felt like mistletoes were always like this pretty, you know, a decor piece that it should be in everyone's like, you know, uh, Christmas decor, especially in their homes. And so I was like looking for like a fake one for years. Like if I wanted to grow a real one, I should have, but I felt like um, they're only going to be available just for Christmas. And then after that, like nobody wants to pay attention to that and for me I'm I'm kind of like those people like once Christmas is over I just want to get rid of the dang thing and stuff like that and so I thought well why waste my money on like a real mistletoe where I can buy a fake one and so if I below had this and um and I'll just show you guys like how pretty this looks it's like a frosted look and I like a little pine cone on it and I, I don't know I just love it so much and this is the tag for it Hopefully you guys can able to see it. I, I haven't been having problems like fo focusing on me and then focusing on the um, the label itself. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And this one was, I think, $1.50, if I believe. And I really love it. Like, I love the whole, like, frosted look on it. And the little berries are really pretty. And then there's the pine cone. I don't know. I just love it so much. And now that I have my own fake mistletoe... I'm hoping that will last me for a very, very long time. And so, while I was also uh, shopping in Five Below, I've been seeing so much Hello Kitty stuff, like a lot of Sanrio stuff. And of course, I had to go buy a couple things from that. And one of which was this, um, what was it? A Kuropi uh, Heat Infused 3D Melty Bead Set. So it looks like this. And it comes with instructions and everything. This one costs a dollar, you guys. I was so shocked to find out that this cost a dollar. I was like, I thought it was going to be maybe like, um, because certain, certain perler bead, um, like sets are usually ranging up to like maybe $3 up to like, who knows how much, unless they have like a lot, a lot of beads. But, um, but yeah, and it comes with a pegboard supposedly, uh, instruction sheet. Yeah. Two printed designs, two parchment sheets, and then like the beads. I was just reading what the bottom part of this says, and it was just really cool i was like a dollar and i'll be able to probably do this with you guys in a um, future video um the next hello kitty i found of uh, which i'm i've been trying to stock up on like my sticker collections i would say but mainly it's just to like um you know package up items for like to decorate items basically for my buyers for mercari which it has been a while since i've done anything like that i haven't like updated anything on mercari for a long time i've been getting some buyers i mean people i've had people like like my stuff and that was fine i was just like i need to start uploading because i've been um sorting through my clothes again and then sorting through some stuff in here like it's a mess you guys I, I don't think you want to see it but I have like three or four boxes like right over here in this direction that is full with um pumpkin stuff and I haven't done anything of craftiness of yet because I've just been busy with like helping my husband so anyway um so I thought maybe this would get me back into the swing of things other than just like writing a lot because I feel like I'm almost done with like writing whatever main story I'm doing right now because 
I have been like getting some really interesting dreams and this and that. So anyway, I felt like I've um, I've been wanting to just concentrate more on like I wanted to take a little bit of a break from writing just for a little bit or just like wean off of it just a little bit, then concentrate on Mercari and all that. And so I thought, what better way but for me to like, uh, you know, get some stuff for it. And so I ended up getting this and it's a Hello Kitty notepad and uh, well, uh, it's a pad, but it's it has 16 pages of like Hello Kitty stickers and some of them are glittered and it's just so cute. Like, isn't that cute? I don't know. Like, I felt like I, I really like it and oh, hopefully I could be able to skim through it. Like that one's really cute too. And oh, it's just really cute. I like this one. The, this one was the one that caught my attention when I first saw it. When I saw it in the store, I was like, yeah, I want it. And I was like, remembering like, did I really got this off of Vibe Below or did I got this from Hobby Lobby? It don't matter because like, um, I've been finding sort of the same type of uh, things in there. But I was just like, I think I did find that one at Five Below. And it was like um, $5, I think. The next item, I per uh, like my, my actual husband purchased it for me because I told him that years and years ago, growing up like as a millennial, and we had our own millennial, you know, accessories and stuff like that. And, um, and then bringing it back, which I was very surprised about. I was like wondering what kind of like younger generation than me will want to wear this and uh, surprisingly there is a community that just um wears this all the time and I used to do that up until like high school when um uh it started getting really warm for me and I just like decided not to wear it no more but I have shown photos to my husband that I used to wear this accessory and he was like well I want you to wear it again for an adult because like it, to be honest, me wearing it when I was younger, like, I felt like uh, I was really happy. I was, like, my true self, I would say. And so when we found this set, I was like, I'm so going to wear it. And what are our, what they are are chokers. But even though one of them says Lucky down here. But, um, yeah. I think this one was, like, $3.25, I believe. But, yeah, they're, like, these plastic chokers. And I can't believe they brought it back, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, they're, um, they have black. It looks like this purple, light purple stuff. The light blue and the pink. And then just, like, a necklace that says Lucky on there. But, um, but yeah, and then that's how they have it uh, together right here. But, yeah, I used to remember wearing chokers all the time. And, and, like I said, it just brought me happiness for some reason as a kid. Um, at some point, sure, like, it started, like, making my neck itchy at some point. Because, like, I would go, you know, walk around with my friends or just play something. And then I sweat. And then it just irritated my neck. But I was really, really happy to wear them. And so... Maybe in future videos, you'll see me wear this. What I am going to do is sanitize them because um, there was somebody at the store that was coughing a lot. And, and it's not my husband because he, he did his best to um, not cough or anything. But there was somebody that was coughing in that direction. And I did sanitize them before I'm, I'm showing them to you guys. But I feel like I should sanitize them again just in case because that's what I've been doing the entire week. I'm trying to not get sick and stuff. And I was so glad that I didn't got sick from my husband's cold. And the last item I'm going to show you from Five Below is um, they brought this back. And they've been bring bringing it back for so many years. And I was so happy because, like, I already have enough of these. But um, I don't mind stocking up because, like, for some reason, me wearing socks all year, it, it like, it wears out really quickly. And um, and most and I used to wear like Christmas socks all year round anyway. But ever since I got those Halloween socks from my previous shopping finds video from um, what was it? Uh, Burlington Coat Factory. I've been I've just been wearing Chris uh, like Halloween socks throughout the whole month of October since I washed them and then I showed them to you guys and then and then until this month. So, but they brought back like twelve uh days of socks. And this time is really different, like the packaging. They had some other options, of course, but this is the one I wanted because not only do I like Nutcrackers, but the designs that they're gonna have for this for this one, it was a lot prettier. So, like, I just show you like what it looks like, and there's other different designs for it. And the one that caught my attention, of course, was uh, this one. I was like the plaid um, flannel of uh, design buffalo check, and then excuse me. And then this one that has like little reindeer and I'm like, I'm a sucker for reindeers or deers entirely. 
and the rest of the designs were pretty cute like the other sets that they had there was like uh like it was probably like pastel pink designs and there were some cute ones but i'm like i really wear pink anyway and i don't i don't think i only own a pair of pink socks i think and the sole and the heel i mean the the heel and the toe part are like this light blue color so it's just like it, it don't really matter like it's not like nobody's gonna check out my socks but yeah so there's like the the information for it so and um and when when you open it because i thought it was like magnetic for some reason like that's how it looks like on the inside and so i was like yeah that's gonna be really fun to open for for christmas i'll probably have to do like a, a daily maybe i should do like a daily snapchat update or like maybe an instagram update where like oh you know i um i opened the sock for this certain day because that way it'd be like an admin calendar type of thing for for me and then i'll just show off the design of the sock on there and then that'd be it and i'll probably just start it on the maybe on the 12th or the 13th because usually i don't post anything for christmas unless it's something um necessary but yeah that's everything for five below i'm just gonna show you guys uh the things that i have gotten in um at walmart let me see if i missed that on anything else no um and these are like christmas presents so family and friends look away i'm just saying but um um we found these these are really cute they're holiday earrings they're four dollars and i don't remember who they're for for you know but um but yeah and then this one of course is like a very obvious choice um but yeah and this one was very surprising uh this one was like a dollar 48 and then like has his own straw and everything so i don't know it was just really cute so um i think that's it for now from walmart so i'm gonna go put this on the ground so that way i can just start stuffing stuff in here so that way i can just easily put it away um i wonder what next i could show you probably hobby lobby for sure and um and then i have an idea for it and stuff like that so finally um like, I, I was looking for, like, um, some stuff to do, especially when I wanted to start doing some jewelry again. But um, I just didn't know if I had the right necessary equipment. And then finally I got the equipment. And then I couldn't find the wire that I needed to actually start making this jewelry. But um, I thought I did. And then for some reason, I guess um, it's forever gone in my stash. Like, I've been going through everything in that little small closet in this room that I just had filled with, like, boxes and containers full of, like craft items and then so I made a mess in there and, and anyway and um and I couldn't find my wire for some reason so I was like okay well maybe if I thoroughly search it one day maybe I'll find it so I just thought let me just go find um a brand new roll of it and and this one was $8.99 um this one's a 20 gauge with 15 yards on there and it's uh, on a wire I was trying to remember what was the um I can't barely can read backwards you guys so it's kind of backwards for me but yeah um it's like this really nice silver color uh wire and and from like what i've been reading on about because it has been a while since i've done jewelry i didn't remember what kind of gauge was easy to bend in case if like you made a mistake you could fix it with your fingers or if not with your um needle nose pliers and so i went with this one and hopefully it's really good so who knows but that that's it um oh yeah this one is a christmas gift for somebody so family and friends look away it um this one was like uh kind of like one of those random selections that my husband uh told somebody to pick and so they told him like hey uh pick this color formation and then we'll pick it for you for like a christmas gift and then they said okay we want this one and like, okay and so what it is it's a purple santa it has a satchel and it's really cute it's kind of really tall i wish i could put them all in frame but maybe I can there you go and so um it's really cute um I don't remember how much he cost I wish I could remember but I think the original price for this one was like maybe like 40 bucks or something maybe 44 45 who knows but we got it off for 50% off since it is 50% off now in Christmas and at Hobby Lobby and so I think he paid like $21 for this one which was like still amazing for a steal and it's really cute and i don't know i love it and um yeah no there you go i thought i didn't have the tag for it yeah so the original price was 42.99 so my husband ended up paying 50 percent off of this which was like 21 something i think it was like 21.49 i think so yeah so i thought that was really cute 
and um, I'm gonna have to put you somewhere else Santa because I have no more room on this space to show off and the last item I'm gonna show you for Hobby Lobby no no I got two more items sorry I thought I, I found the other piece that I, for some reason it was just like one of those things that um <laughs> that I could I didn't thought I could find and then for some reason my husband was like you should show this off and I was like sure I have been having a, a very huge obsession of like mushrooms and like I wanted to have like a whole wall decorated with like mushrooms and I'm still trying to figure figure it out how am I going to do this since it's like you know some walls are like split and and like I wanted to do like this one section of a wall of mushrooms or if like not some other ones. I don't know. It was just like I want to know how to do it. And so my husband found this one and there was like a I think a blue version of this one or I don't remember. But um, he found this one. And he was just like, do you want to take it home? And I was just like, sure. I'm like, I'll probably have it hung up somewhere. I just don't know where, but I will do it. And this one was like uh, the original price was $11.99. But my husband ended up paying it for, I think it was like either 30 or 40% off right now because for, for some decor or is, uh, is at that uh, percentage of a discount. And I think he paid like, I want to say maybe six, seven dollars for this one probably. I'm not sure. I can't do math in my head right now. And so he, uh, he was like, do you want to, you know, where are you going to put it? I said, I'm definitely going to put it in the small room. And he really liked it. Oh, oh, actually, the other one was either a polka dot or like a daisy design instead of the polka dot. And it was the same color scheme. And I was like, I rather like the polka dot more. So there you go. And then now I can show you the last item for uh, Hobby Lobby. And I've been telling you guys, I've been trying to like collect more, um, more stationary items. So that way I can start using it towards like my buyers for Mercari to decorate the packages. And so I ended up wanting to go get more washi tape. And... The, the original price was $29.99, but it was $15, so it was, like, really cool. It has, like, all these different types of designs on there. Of course, the ones that caught my attention was just the mushrooms and the butterflies, but when I saw the other ones, like, these keys, like, I don't know why, but that's my aesthetic. There's, like, um, like a roll of tickets here, and then the musical notes, and then the world map, and some stamps. I don't know. It's just really, really pretty, and I love it. And I thought they're going to be so perfect to use. And so I felt like, you know, well, as soon as I'm opening them, I'm just going to put them away for, um, to put it in my washi tape drawer that I have in there. Um, and I think that's it for uh, Hobby Lobby because I was just like trying to figure out if it was. And yeah, it is. Sorry, I I've been moving you guys. All right. So now I got to show you guys the items from Target. And it's only uh, like three things on here. And so I'm just going to show you the three things right now. So hopefully I'll be able to like uh, store them away properly. So the first thing I got was this green wire basket and um, and it is $5. I was trying to see if I could find the tag for it, but there's the $5 uh, gift basket um, tag on there. And it's like really durable. Like I remember I've had wire baskets before from other like stores and then from mainly from this store. And I remember like they, they're, they're very durable. And what I wanted to use this for was for, uh, to put our chips in here. And I wanted it to be like an all year round thing for, um, to display our chips in. And, and it's really funny because it has like the spacing right here. So you can like probably hold it like this. But what I want to do is like, um, get this candle holder. Oh, uh, I thought that was going to fall on me. It was like the wrapping paper because I have been leaning against this buffet piece that I have you guys on. I got this like candle holder like years and years ago. I don't even remember where. And the original price supposedly says $7.99, but I remembered either buying it um, either at Hobby Lobby or a thrift store like years and years ago. I don't even know if I've shown this before you guys, but on the shopping's fine. I don't even remember. But I remember paying like a dollar twenty-four for this, I think, or two dollars and forty-nine cents, but it was pretty cheap. It had a little a little pokey thing on there and I went to go cut it off with a, with some shears that I had and what I wanted to do was just like glue this onto the bottom of the basket so that way it'll look like this and then like you know you've seen my one of my shopping finds uh, before where um I showed you guys like this wooden lazy susan of a pumpkin and I ended up painting it for you guys on a crafting video that I did and then so what I wanted to do was like put this like that and just 
put it like that and i thought that would be really good spacing so i think that's what i'm gonna do and probably i'll do that in a, a future video for you guys and hopefully i'll be able to get that done so if you are in need of a really cheap uh, basket that's like this size i'm not sure the dimensions for this one but it's pretty big and they don't have it on here but they do have a red one and i think a white one i'm not sure but i wanted the green one so that way it could be displayed all year round and on top of that for some reason this green just screamed um serenity for me like very very calm color so it's just like that's pretty cool um let me go put you on the floor buddy and and then i'll just show you guys the other two items that i have gotten from uh target um this one i wanted to work on because i did not work on any like halloween or some fall crafts yet so i just thought oh well i'm not too late to do any like christmas ones and so i got this glass tree and and uh there you go i was going to show you guys the tag i was like how am i going to show it to you and hopefully they uh spin around and this one was a dollar and um so i've been wanting to do a lot of like light fixtures and stuff like that i guess so, like to make it a little bit more like lively and i've been trying to find candles that could fit in here and i have found some but I still need to go get more because I thought this, this it was going to be real, nearly impossible to like just put it on there or if not just screw it on into like a lid of a, or um, like into a bottle or something so I could make it like really look nice. It could be like a bottle topper. I don't know. But uh, when they barely was putting out the Christmas for one of my local targets, like they only had a few selections of these and then the bigger versions. And I'm like, I'm not looking for bigger versions. I'm looking for the small ones. And so this is the smallest one I could find and and the colors that they had at the time it wasn't really appealing to me but who knows i'll probably get some more at uh target the next time i go and and i thought this was a really pretty color like i usually am not towards like you know going grabbing red or anything like that but for some reason this one called out to me more than the other colors that they had so um so i just thought that's gonna be really cool for a future project video and then plus um I, I just missed crafting entirely because I felt like I had a whole entire week to do stuff and I didn't do nothing. All I did was help my husband be, a, you know, nurse him to health and then, um, you know, do some writing here and there. But it was not enough to, you know, get rid of the itch, you know. So the last item um, that I'm going to be showing you guys from Target, this one was a very expensive item. But for some reason, it just brought joy to me just looking at this, I would say. Because it reminded me of an old um, accessory I used to have when I was a child. Like, it was a, a birthday gift for one of my cousins when I was growing up. And what it was, like, I wish I could find it all over again. I've been trying to find a photo for this so that way I can link it to the description down below. That I have mentioned this a couple times. But um, supposedly there was this uh, jean uh, material backpack, like a denim backpack. It was really, really tiny. And it had, like, Tweety on there. And I remember taking that thing f with me, f like, for everything. From field trips to school to, like, some small functions at schools. Or even just hanging out with, like, other kids from the school and stuff like that. And I remember having that thing, like, forever. And then eventually I had to throw it away because it was getting ripped and everything. And I wish I would have kept it, to be honest, so that we can show you guys. But um, ever since that, like... Ever since that day that I had to throw it away, which was, like, in my late teens, I would say. I've never found anything that could, like, I guess, like, bring me joy when it comes to denim stuff, I would say. But then, for some reason, me finding this item brought me so much joy. And I felt like if I could find that one design for Tweety, um, then I would forever find it. And then see if I could, like, iron it on on here or put, like, a vinyl sticker on here or something. But I'm I'm willing to like stitch it onto here so it could look like I had that backpack all over again, even though it's the the purse and um and it's so pretty. I don't know why, but it just reminded me of that color. It was sort of like this color when I remember growing up, but then it got darker as time um went by, and so it looked like a regular like you know denim fabric for jeans and stuff like that. And it's by the brand uh, Universal Thread Goods Company. And so here's the tag and it cost the uh, $25. I remember telling my husband for so long that I've been looking for like a denim purse or a denim kind of like 
something that could replace that Tweety backpack in my life. And I could not find anything that's like the perfect size for it or anything. And plus, like now growing up, like I I tend to like purses more than backpacks. So I felt like if I could find the perfect like color material for a purse or something like that and then maybe I could find that Tweety design one day and then just like place it somewhere on this backpack it could be either in the front or the back it don't matter but I would love to have that and I remember telling that story to my husband and I remember telling that story to a few of my friends my my family already knows about it because like I remembered I used to take it with me everywhere like I said before and so um, I felt like this was like the nice replacement for it. And all I have to do is just find that Tweety design. Hopefully I can find an iron on patch and um, and hopefully I'll iron it on and put it on here. Maybe I'll just show it to you guys um, in a future video. But I, I also got this also because I'm trying to downsize some stuff that I carry with me when I go to the stores because most of the time um, I would love to carry large bags. Like I am a huge large bag purse lover like I will carry everything in there with me like I remember I used to carry like two notebooks for some reason like one I would jot down ideas in or one for grocery list and then then like if um my husband's phone or his wallet starts weighing him down in like these um like shorts or pants or whatever and he got fed up with it like even when he wears a belt or like the drawstring on there and it still falls down on him he'll just give me the the stuff for me to hold on to him and i'll just throw it in my purse like no problem even the car keys so um so i felt like um we started doing that less now so we stopped like carrying a lot of stuff with us we downsize a lot of stuff and then so i thought that maybe for some reason maybe having a smaller purse that i'm used to because this to me is still small but just looking at it just brought me so much joy and i'm like it's just reminded me of that you know that tweety backpack i was like maybe this will be like a journey for me to start being sort of like a minimalist but not really a minimalist because i am a maximalist uh like i can't even say the word right but um but I felt like this would be perfect for me because I do want to downsize. Like, I feel like I'm already getting old. My shoulder is hurting from carrying that backpack everywhere I go. Or, I mean, the purse everywhere I go. And it's been weighing down on me a lot. And so I've been having, like, these pains in my shoulder area, like, right here. And so I felt like maybe this would be a really good replacement for it. And who knows? Maybe it will. But... I cannot wait and all I know is that the and it was perfect because they have removable straps so I have um a strap that I think I've shown you guys before in a shopping finds video from Hobby Lobby that um my husband bought for me and it was like a camo strap and I have it on my current purse right now and so I thought that maybe this will be like a backup for it and so you'll probably see me in a probably in a future video getting rid like you know not wearing this actual strap for it i'm gonna use my camel one and that'd be perfect <laughs> so anyway story time is over so now i gotta go show you guys the last few items from other stores um i remember shopping at michael's too so i'm gonna show you guys the items from michael's i'm trying to be careful not to bump into anything but it's just two items from there um the story behind <laughs> these two items was like I, I was like following these crafters for a very, very long time since like the start of COVID. And I remember this crafter and you guys can look her up on there and she has an Instagram. She, I think she might have a TikTok also, but I follow her on Instagram and on Facebook, but mainly on Facebook because that's where she does most of her videos on there. Her, um, the chat, the page is called the, the shabby tree and the, the, the person that uh, kind of like is the face of the shabby tree, her name is Barb. And I remembered um, like years and years ago, like, yeah, three or yeah, three years ago, there was a post that she made of like a craft that she did with a pumpkin wreath form. And I wish I can show you guys like what pumpkin wreath form am I talking about? But um, it's the one from Dollar Tree. And she said that she what she did was like she found this uh, beaded garland that she used to do with the pumpkin wreath form and i wish i could show you guys maybe i could find a the link to it down below and i'll just put it in the description in there and i was looking for this beaded garland for years i'm telling you you guys like i remember just going into this michael's that's like nearby my house which is like 30 minutes away i um 
I ended up finding the beaded garland and I was so happy because I'm like I've been wanting to do that craft for a very long time I wanted to like put my own twist to it but I still wanted to do the beads and so that's what I found and we were shopping at Michael just for like you know last minute Halloween discounts and then I'll just show you guys how much uh, they were and I'll tell you how much my husband paid for it because um it, it was a lot of money but it, but still it was like worth it because it they weren't really like discounted at the time and then finally when they did I was like I should have waited but they only had a few selections at my local Michael so but yeah so I'm gonna show you guys the beaded garland but I forgot that somehow it came off of its tag but it looks like this this type of beaded garland like I remember seeing the pose and I felt like will I ever find something that could replace it it's like a I don't know and I finally found it I was just so happy to find it but it's like it has gold in there it has orange like this rose gold this silver I don't know but it's just so pretty isn't it and I feel like it matches with like a lot of like fall items that I could probably use and so in a future video you're going to see me use this and a pumpkin wreath form and then some other stuff to decorate it with but here's the tag for it it's by the brand Ashlyn and the original price is $16.99, but since they had a, I think it was like a 30% off sale, 40% off sale, I don't remember, but my husband paid for this like for $11 or $12, something like that. And I knew I should have waited a little bit longer, but I'm like, no, I have waited long enough to find this. And it's just so pretty. Like, look at this. Ever since I saw it on her post and how she did it in that video in one of her lives, I have been wanting this forever and I was like if I ever find it I am never going to lose the opportunity to uh, get it purchased and so I remember the last time I went to Michael's with my husband and a time before that but and the, with that time before that I told them that maybe I should wait until they're discounted because I did found it like before Halloween and and then all of a sudden they were going to do like that following week um they were gonna do discount items for fall items and they were gonna do it from like 40 to 50 percent off and i was like okay if i find it again the next time i go to michael's i'm so gonna get it and that's what we did the last time we went we got it i was like i'm not i'm not taking that chance no more and i'm not gonna even use the whole garland i think the rest of it i'm just gonna use it for other craft projects so that's what's gonna happen <coughs> excuse me uh the last item i'm gonna show you from michael's this one was like a, a steal to be honest and we got this uh like this uh past weekend or something because we were like really bored at home and he didn't want to stay home because he was just getting driven mad from staying home and so we we're like oh let's go to michael's let's go shop around for a little bit i was like all right cool and so he found this by the entrance of our michael's because when you go into our michael's over there in um in rockwall you um you immediately go to the entrance to the right because the one on the left is the exit and that's where the registers are but if you go on to the right side you see all the paper stuff and uh we saw the flowers and everything and then they had this uh section on there where it was like discounted halloween items especially for paper pads and so he found this one and i was very shocked about it i was like why do you want this and he said he found something on there that he liked he liked the skulls he liked something else i don't remember but it's this paper pad and um floral fright includes foil sheets or something like that but it is um uh, there and it's just so pretty i think he saw this one and he was like i want it and then he saw this one and he's like now i want it even more and then he noticed some other floral stuff he was like oh um i'm definitely gonna use this one and he calls me bunny like it's a nickname so he's like i know buns is going to be using this so i just thought this is going to be so cute and maybe in a future video i could probably do some sort of craft project with it but like there's the different type of designs that they have for papers and i think it's like one of two of each i am not sure and i like i, like I said sealed so maybe i could be able to flip it real quick for you guys let's see oh yeah this is a pretty ones yeah there's two of each design oh i love the foil ones i'm a sucker for foil stuff especially on paper and washi tape so oh that's pretty but yeah so there you go oh I, that was the last one what was that was that a bat oh and i did not notice they're double-sided i uh, maybe it sets it on there so this is 36 sheets and it's by 12 by 12 printed cardstock with gold foil and i didn't know they were double-sided so let me go um do that 
that's just so pretty oh and i am a sucker for double-sided paper too because i felt like as soon as i do something um with just single-sided paper it's just gonna um i'm just gonna leave it into a pile of like you know wasted paper or like eventually i'll do a craft with them in a bit so who knows but having the double-sided paper might actually get me to craft a lot more with it but we'll see um i'm trying to put you guys on the floor i just don't know what i have a mess again so anyway i think that's it for now i'll just show you guys the stuff from dollar tree and I just, it's just boxes like i told you guys in the beginning but uh he wanted to do something different for um for gifting items and we have done bags we've done wrapping paper and so this year he wanted to do something with boxes so i was just like all right cool so i'll just show you guys that um and it has like different designs on there excuse me um i was about to sneeze um this one it says a very merry christmas and it's pretty big i think there's some other designs on there and no, actually there's just two designs i was just look uh reading the the labels in the back that i was going to show you guys but look at that isn't that pretty and there's the label for it it's just uh, two pieces gift boxes and um i don't know what size they are 11 by 17 by 2.5 inches so if you're looking to gift somebody that's like a very large item that is within within these dimensions right here under this um like above the barcode then uh these will be perfect for you and so i thought that was gonna be really pretty to use um and he bought a couple of them so i'm gonna show you guys real quick this one was my favorite one because i told you guys i am a sucker for like mistletoe slash holly items but mainly mistletoe and this one reminded me of a mistletoe but it could be holly so don't don't at me for it but like look at this design it is so pretty i feel like if i were to get gifted this box for my husband which i think he will i would definitely cut it out and put it like on a background of like a frame and be like okay i'm gonna put something christmasy in the back to do like a craft with i don't know but it's gonna be so pretty and then this one was also pretty too like i'm like look at all the holly and the candy canes and then the snowflakes it's like it's so pretty i know it's really early but like i'm really kind of excited for christmas you know so and there's the label for that one um <laughs> And it's also the same dimensions 11 by 17 by 2.5 and then um this one is sort of the same oh uh, uh, sort of the same it has the same writing and background but it's really different and one of them says farm fresh christmas trees cut and carry cedar pine spruce and fir and it's really pretty i really like it and then the other one size is seasons greetings fresh cut trees and it has a truck with the tree in the back so that's really really cute and it's like buffalo check uh black and white but yeah it is so pretty i don't know i love it um and then yeah he bought like a couple of small ones too because he thought that maybe he'll have to go get gifts for somebody for for small gifts or something just in case it was like a backup i don't know but he really liked the designs on there so um this one's is also two boxes yeah uh so yeah so there's this one. It's a cute penguin with a little scarf and a and a matching hat. It's just so cute. And then it has Santa with that like buff like that buffalo check um, scarf and and you know hat combo. And it says Merry Christmas. That's really really cute. Um, and then the final box because this one is just window clings, and so I'm gonna show you guys that in a bit. This one has a gnome on there. It says gnome for the holidays and i don't know puns sometimes are really cute sometimes they're not but for some reason i was like i ignored this when i first saw it and then i felt like this is a cute gnome to gift to somebody if for a gift box and yeah and then there's a little three snowman it's just so cute <laughs> but yeah i don't know something about puns when it comes to like holiday stuff it's just like not that appealing to me so i decided to like i'm just gonna ignore that part and then just um look at the gnome and the gnomes are cute anyway and the last item I'm going to show you guys in this video, and I know it's a very long video, especially with me jabbering and stuff like that. It's a two-pack window cling. And it's 20 pieces. And it has gnomes on the front. And so it says, Merry Christmas, gnomies. Like, uh, again, I was like, I'm still going to have to decorate it uh, on my windows in my house. But it's, uh, you know, who knows? I'll just ignore it for now. But it's just really cute for the meantime. And so here's the designs on the back on this one and it's really cute i really like it 
what appealed to me was the mushrooms and that's what my husband said too he was like i love i saw the mushrooms and i had to go get it so here's the information for the the label on there so in case you ever have to look for it online and i'll just show you guys on the front label again because i didn't show it to you guys thoroughly so it's a two-pack window clings and it has says 20 pieces on there so yeah that's all the items i'm going to show you guys for this uh shopping haul video oh my god i have a mess again and i mean i've had a mess in this room for a very long time but i felt like before i started looking for craft items to do with pumpkins or fall items i made a mess and then on top of that i have found some other stationary items that i have completely forgotten that i had in my excuse me in my collection and so i'll probably have to do like a little small video on that one and then show off some other random stuff that i have found and yeah so i don't know when this was gonna uh come up also because i just thought about it since i have been shopping a lot lately but not really like online shopping since we usually do our shopping like in person a lot so we can get our stuff quicker and stuff like that um on top of that we were you know we we didn't know like this year was gonna go by fast and we thought we had enough time to go do some online shopping but maybe next year we'll do that definitely and um and yeah so um i have bought some stuff from aliexpress like i have been playing that merch boss game on there and if you guys are not familiar with that or anything it's like um it gives you like chances to go get like you know coins and stuff like that and the coins you use it to get like discounted items for your orders and right now i think i have like over five thousand on there but i had more on there when i first started um uh, using aliexpress which just like years ago and um and recently i was playing this game on there and it was merge boss and so i've been like spending the coins on there real quick but anyway i um i noticed that they have kept the dollar 79 items on there or um the choice items as they call it usually it's between a dollar 79 to a dollar 99 for each and all you have to do is just pick three of those and then and that's it it's just free shipping all you have to do is just pay for the three items plus the um, the tax that goes with it and um and so i did this purchase on there that i got in a coupon off of it was just like 50 cents off or something so i was just like i wanted to try it out and so this past Sunday, I believe, I placed an order for three items for it, and um, and I used my 50 cent coupon, and after calculating all of it, I felt like I had a really good deal. I, I literally spent less than six dollars for everything, and that's including the, the shipping, you know, even though it's free shipping on there. And it said it was going to be an 11 day delivery, but who knows? Like, I don't mind if it get, comes out late or comes out um like really really late in the year because like i know holidays are coming up and then shipping stuff is going to be really busy so for some reason if i get the items as earlier as i think i'll make a video on that one so so be tuned to see what i gotten it was just like some random items that i gotten it was like shown as my recommended thing on there like if you go on that option to go to choice items like whenever it pops up onto aliexpress usually for me it pops up like for um from like sundays all the way to like maybe tuesdays or wednesdays depending on like how busy they get and how often people shop on there but um for me on sundays like it shows up and then i just go through it to see like what am i going to get on there randomly and then i'll just think about it and be like okay let me go make that purchase and so i thought well what a better way i'm going to start uh doing purchases through there to see what kind of random items i would be showing up on here because i do enjoy shopping on um aliexpress and um and once that package arrives i'll just show it to you guys so anyway i'm gonna stop right there i'm gonna go clean up i gotta i've been rambling on for a little while and on top of that i need to really clean up and then start um you know getting uh getting some stuff together for dinner also or for supper and then um you know start writing again because i did took a little bit of a break sort of but then um but i wanted to continue to write just to, like you know take the edge off and everything so anyway i'm gonna go now i'm gonna go clean up um i hope you enjoyed this uh video i don't even know what kind of accent that was i can't even speak my brain just wants to shut off right now so anyway um, hopefully you guys have a lovely day and a lovely week and I'll see you guys next week. All right. Bye everyone.